Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up your Konic Minota copier to scan to a shared folder on your computer. The steps in this tutorial should be the same on pretty much any Konic Minota model you have. Uh, the only difference uh, would be that on the older uh, models, the back end, the web interface, would look a little different than the way you're going to see it on this tutorial. But if you follow the directions carefully and if you read all the wording correctly, the wording should be the same, so you should be able to find it on your older one. And I'll talk more about it when I get there. So um, let's get started. But before we begin, you definitely need to gather a few pieces of information. I went ahead and made a list of what is required. You first need to know the IP address of your copier. You need to know your computer name. Uh, if you don't know how to find that, I'll go ahead and show you that in just a second. And you also need to uh, know your username and password. Now, if you notice here, I put best option is to create a new user. And I'll explain more as to why I, I recommend creating a new user when we get there. So um, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is create a, sh a folder where you want all your scans to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder on my C drive. So let me move this over so you can see it. So here's my C drive. I'm going to go ahead and create a folder. I'm going to call it. I'm going to right click anywhere in this section. I'm going to put a folder and I'm going to call it my scans. OK, I already have one created here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create I'm going to put a two here so there's no conflict and I'm going to hit enter. So that's all you need to do as far as creating a folder. Now we need to share it. So before we go into the sharing section, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And um, remember when I mentioned of creating a new user, the reason I like to create a new user is I, I can tell you how many times I've been out to customer sites where I ask them for their username and password as a computer, and they swear, they swear to their life, they know the password, and um, they give me the password, and I use it, and guess what? I can't get it to scan. And I'm sitting there trying to troubleshoot, and I'm spending hours upon hours trying to figure out because they're positive they got the right password, and sure enough they gave me the wrong password so i've just sat there wasted hours uh trying to figure out what the problem is so what i do is i just create a habit of creating a new user that way you eliminate the doubt whether they gave you the right password or not so let's go and create a new user it's not a big deal you're only going to create it once and you're never going to use it again so the steps on how to create a new user is you go to your control panel. You can type in CON, and that usually pops up the control panel. If not, spell the whole word out. So click on control panel, and I'm going to click user accounts. I'm going to click user accounts again. And I'm going to select here, manage another account. So you can see I already created a user here, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, create. I have a, a Rico. Oh, let me close this. I have a Rico and a BizHub already installed. So um, see, I even even here in my office, I I practice the same uh, steps. So, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, create another user here, so you can follow the steps on how easy it is to do it. So I'm going to put add a new user to this PC or in PC settings. Okay, I don't know why it's okay. There it goes. So I'm going to click add someone else to this PC. Now, uh, you don't want to go ahead and create a new Microsoft account for this new user. That's too much of a hassle. So I'm just going to uh, select I don't have this person sign in information. So again, I'm going to put add a, add a user without the Microsoft account. We don't want to create an account for the user. So we're going to select that. And we're going to name it uh, whatever name you want to give the user. I usually like to name it after the copier. So I'm just going to put a BizHub, just like that. And uh, we need to create a password. So I'm just going to do a, a password of 1 through 8. So I'm going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to do it again. Retype it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's a password we're giving this user. And we're only going to use that once. 
So uh, Windows always has you uh, set up security questions in order, if you ever needed to uh, restore the password, which is kind of silly because if that ever happened, you just delete the user and reinstall it. But in order to get past a step, we definitely need to do that. So let's just create a bogus name. So uh, first question is what, uh, what was your first pet's name? I'm just going to put Waldo. Uh, what? the name of the city where you were born. I'm just going to put, it doesn't matter, pick anything you want. I'm going to put the city uh, where our shop is with the Santa Ana. That's where our office is located. And what was your childhood nickname? What city were you, uh, what city were your parents born? So let's just put Santa Ana again, even though that's not true. So I'm going to hit select or next, I'm sorry. Um, okay, it's asking me to type in a different name because I already have BizHub in there. So I'm just going to put a BizHubs with an S. So there you go. So uh, here's the biz hubs, the one I just created here. So what I like to do is it's not needed, but I always do it as a force of habit. I just like to change this to admin just for whatever reason, just in case. I'm pretty sure local will work fine, but I'm just going to I'm just going to put admin. So um, that's that. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to close this. And now I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and I'm going to go to my folder here. See where my folder is. Okay, so uh, here's the folder we created, the my scans too. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go to properties, click on sharing right here on top, and now I'm going to share it. So as you can see, uh, well let me, you can see the uh, the owner is right here, which is the owner of this computer. So I'm going to add Biz Hubs. The the S is the one I just created. So we're going to add it. And it's very, very, very important that you click the down arrow here and you put read and write. If you skip this step, you're not going to be able to, the copier is not going to be able to send a file or write to the folder that because you did not give it read and write permission. You only gave it read. So it won't be able to send a uh, scan. So make sure you put read and write. So select share. And uh, here we go. We're done. Now we're going to go to advanced sharing. We're going to select permissions. Of course, let me back up a little. Of course, make sure that there's a check mark. There usually is by default, but just, just make sure it is. So anyhow, going back to permissions. And as you can see, everybody and the owner is here. Everyone has all three check marks. The owner has three check marks, but we're going to add BizHub. So we're going to select on add. We're going to type in BizHubs, which is the user I created, and hit OK. And now BizHub's there. So when you select it, you'll see that there's no check mark here. You got to make sure you got full control. So one check mark on the top will put its check mark on the middle as well. So now you have all three. Make sure all three are in here. You hit apply and then OK. Apply again and OK. And uh, you're back to this screen here, which is the properties. Make sure you left click and highlight the network path okay so in fact what i'm going to do is this i'm going to leave this here i'm just going to i'm just going to put it right here I'm actually i'm going to move it over to one of my other screens and i'll and i'll show you why i'm going to do that so i'm going to go ahead and close this screen and now this is where remember i told you you need the ip address of your copier we're going to type in the ip address the i'm going to type in the ip address of my copier so uh, I'm going to open up Chrome. I, I missed that step. So open up your browser. I, I like using Chrome. It's always the, it's a flawless uh, search engine. I, I love using Chrome on everything. And if, if you only have Windows Internet Explorer, it should work fine. But if you have Chrome, um, start using it or use that. It's, it's, it's great. So I'm going to type in uh, on the uh, URL section here, I'm going to type in the IP address of my copier. And this opens up the back end. So this is what I was trying to, well, so I can, let me wait for it to open up. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay, so this is the what I was talking about, the back end. So this is the newer model. Here it is, the model that I'm using. Uh, depending on which model you have, if you're using an older one, yours is going to look different uh, than this. Uh, but it's, it's going to have the same wording, okay? So 
that's why I say if you if you pay attention and you follow the wording uh, correctly, you should be able to figure out in pretty much any model that you have. So first things first, we need to uh, go over to here. Let me go here real quick. The stored address. So um, older models will have them laid out across here. This is vertical, as you can see here. The older models had them all horizontal, one on top of each other. But just look for the word store address because we're going to create a new uh, address of where we want to scan to. Okay, so um, once we do that, a new box opened up. So we're going to select new registration. Now here, you're going to select the down arrow. Uh, I have other videos how to set up scan an email, so you can search that on our on our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, but for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to be, this, this tutorial is actually showing you how to scan to a shared folder. So we're going to select the down arrow, and we're going to select SMB. That's the name of a shared folder. So you're going to select S F SMB. And you're going to type in the name of what you want it to show up on the copier when you walk to it. So if you're setting up your front office computer or your receptionist computer or your boss's computer, you'll, you'll want to type in their name. Uh, so for my computer, I'm just going to call it me. Or I'm just going to call it my computer. But you can call it whatever you want. So once you have the name, which is going to show up on the display on the copier, you want to select you want to select main here. This would put it on the frequent use list. So when you select scanner on your copier, all your shortcuts will show up, and you'll see the name my computer, whatever name you put in there. Uh, host uh, address you want to put a check mark here, and in this first box is uh, remember I asked you to put your computer name. This is where you're going to put your computer name. Now, if you don't know what your computer name is, real easy to find it. There's a few ways to find it. First off, you can select, um, you can go back to system, just type in system and then go to system information and see where it says right here, system name. This is your computer name right here, okay? So uh, the only thing is, oh, there it is, I highlighted. The only thing is you can't highlight here if, if it's a long name and you don't wanna make any mistakes this system information doesn't let you highlight it. So there's another way to do it. You can uh, click the windows to start, select uh, the, the settings button here, go to system, scroll down to about, and here it is again, device name, and here it allows you to highlight it, and then you can copy, you know, right click copy, and then close the screen and you come here and you paste it. It should go, uh, it should put it all in capital. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I know on the older Konica, they required you to have them all in capital. Um, I still use that on all the new ones. I haven't really tested it. Uh, I'm sure it'll work fine if you leave it on lowercase, but I'm stuck on the, on the old way to do it. And I like to just keep, any, I just don't want to eliminate any doubt. So just put it in capitals if you can. If you have the time to test it, if it works without it, do it. That's fine. So, um, but I know on the older ones, for those of you who are, have an older machine, you definitely need to have it all in capital. Okay, so now the file path, and let me go back to my folder that I moved over here. The file path is this is the network path since we already have this section here see our windows has it all on capital here so we have this here so the only thing we need to do here is just highlight the name of the folder so we're going to highlight it copy i'm going to close this and i'm going to paste here and it doesn't this doesn't matter the folder doesn't matter if it's capital or not so uh, you just want to put the uh, the folder name. You don't have to put any backslash or forward slash. You don't have to put any. Just the name of the computer above here and the name of the folder here. Username is going to be the bizhub we created. So we put bizhubs and the password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, you can put any password you want, uh, but you do it when you're creating the user. So uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. So that's all you need to do. So you're going to select OK. 
and you got to make sure you get the message where it says address book registration is complete. So um, if sometimes if you take too long, it will give you an error and you have to repeat the step again. Uh, so now, as you can see, now I have this is the one I just created here, SMB. Here's my email. This is I created this on another video. You can again, if you want to set up scanning email, check out our other videos. But this is the one that I just created now. So it's there. It's ready to go. So you just walk up to your copier. You hit your scanner button or your tab on your screen and you'll see your shortcut. You'll see the name of my computer and you're ready to scan. So good luck, guys, and I hope this video was very helpful.